I wanted to share with you how we can start to manifest anything. New Earth is a birthing of a new reality on this physical world. It is literally like we are birthing new energy into this world, a new state of reality, a new state of consciousness. Essentially, New Earth is an awakening and expansion of consciousness. So if you are on the path of consciousness, and if you're on the path of awakening and ascending, awakening, expanding your consciousness, what you're really doing is you're starting to awaken into this reality, birthing a new reality. I believe New Earth is all centered around the lowest chakra. And if you're unaware of what the chakra system is, it is the energy centers in the body. First one is our root chakra, and this is the color red. Now the root chakra is here for our safety, our stability, our groundedness, how much we want to ground into this earth and feel secure, feel safe, feel empowered. All our power comes from the root chakra and the sacral, the first two. And so the root chakra is essentially the one that is Oh my God, immensely, immensely, highly hijacked in this world. We are so much more than just, you know, drinking a coffee and going to work and just living our lives. Like we are so much more. We are full vitality, life force, energy, alive. So we all have chi. If you move your hands like this, can you feel it? That's our chi energy. And if we have no chi in our body, we will die. But what I witness with, with men and women is because their, their bodies are shut down energetically, they're shut down, they have no life force, no chi to channel that energy into their work, to channel that energy into the family, to channel that energy into their manifestations, into their desires. Because our, our root chakra has to feel secure, it has to feel stable and able to hold this space. It's like trying to build a house on sand, it will just not, you know, it'll just crumble. The root chakra can be hijacked, the root chakra can be targeted, it can make us feel unsafe, it can rattle. There is not a solid foundation that we can support ourselves on to create and to manifest our visions of what we want in our lives and our realities. If you look at society, everything is designed to keep us in a state of survival and fear. We turn on the news and we're afraid or we you know, listen to a lot of music that is very sexually distorted. And so it's really trying to use your root chakra to stay there. The tools that we can use, such as embodiment, breath work, dancing, ecstatic dance, energy work, things that we can use to channel this energy. If not, it just stays stuck there. And so the problem with a lot of the distortion, the sexual industries, the music industries, the film industries, they're designed to just keep that energy stuck in that one center instead of moving it through the body and up through the heart and through the mind. Because when we have a flowing energy as a child, like as children is when we have our most flow chi energy, it flows around. When we have that, we are fully able to maneuver, experience life from like such an altered state of being where we feel expanded, we feel expressive, we feel empowered. People don't realize the power they have with where their energy is being sent. So they're watching reels. They're just like sucked into these reels. They're giving their energy to everybody. What we have to learn is to manage and maintain and clean our own energy. It's like brushing our teeth. We have to learn how to maintain our energy too. And so how we do this is through embodiment exercises. It's through um, any practice that you can harness to make yourself feel alive. When we shut down the body's cues and the body's intuitions and that primal intelligence and we just go into a mind, we comply. We listen to everyone around us. We live through fear. We live through distortion. We live through illusion because we're not listening to the heart's cue of our body and what we actually are called to do in regards to our career or our purpose or, or what we're wanting to manifest. When you reclaim your aliveness, which is new earth, new earth is literally realizing that we are part of nature, that we are part of earth and it's our birthright to express this energy. When we start to awaken that root energy, we start to move our energy up our bodies. We start to feel energy in our bodies. We are not acting from a wounded place. We're not acting from a disembodied place. We're not acting from fear. We are literally understanding that we are pure consciousness in this present moment. We are a pure being of light, of life force, of energy, of vitality, of expression. And we are starting to operate in the world from that space. The, the root energy, this chi, we're moving that in the body. And so we're not thinking as much, we are being, we're following our, our truth, what feels right and what feels aligned. And then you can use that and harmonize that and bring that into your purpose so that you live a purpose-filled life. It is about you bringing your vision that you drop down and to manifest it into this world, to create it into this world through excitement, through purpose, through joy. Essentially what you're doing is you're learning what needs to be cut off in your external world. <laughs> what's no longer serving you, what is awakening your aliveness, your inner world, your inner passion, your inner vitality. And from that place, acting from that energy, you will start to manifest and create a whole new world. If you can wipe out your personality, your traits, your fears, 
and you fully move into this moment and if you were wiped clean how would you express yourself how would you embody yourself how would you be that is where the magic source is timelines are so rapidly shifting is specifically now on earth as we're moving vibrations we as a collective have so much power on the timelines we're selecting and creating and forming so the more you can surrender to the now moment and what you're feeling you're always switching timelines like there could have been a timeline okay I'll give you an example I wake up at 6am and I start scrolling on TikTok and I'm like <laughs> and then I'm like maybe I should order food to my place and then you order food and then you are like I'll do it tomorrow or 6 a.m. you wake up and you're like, fuck it, let's go for a walk. Let's connect to the earth, right? Let's go to the gym. And then you go meet a friend and then you get this idea. It's like your present energy is where your timeline will go. Your present energy is what you will create. That is the manifestation of new earth. It's your present energy to let go of your shit from the past and focus on what your now is going to be.